Welcome to my channel fam, this is Gene aka LS Turbo Integ and in today's video I go over the Ryobi's leaf blower and mulcher. Now I'm always looking for tools and equipment to help make the job a lot easier and I found these at Home Depot and I I do have a leaf blower already, but it's a gas powered one made by Ryobi. So I was just looking for something maybe easier to hold with just using like one hand or something. And what's great is this is going to help me save money from having to uh, use gas all the time. Now I did pick up the one that comes with two batteries as the other one only came with one. And because I do have a bigger yard, I wanted to make sure that I had enough battery life to do the whole yard. Um, also, I wanted a second battery to use for the leaf mulcher because the kit didn't include a battery. Uh, most of the time, the leaf mulcher won't be used until the fall time. Anyways, from unpacking here, um, the Ryobi seems to be very well built. I mean, quality wise, seems to be on point. All the components seem to be constructed very well, very solid, sturdy. The battery charger is pretty large and it does come in its typical Ryobi lime green color. For the size of these batteries, they don't weigh too much at all, which is surprising. Because of the lightweight design, this is actually going to make carrying the mulcher or the leaf blower a lot easier. I know after using my gas power leaf blower, I mean my arms are pretty much toast. So this lightweight design is really going to help out. Now here's everything all on the bench here. Um, like I said earlier, very well made, quality 100%. Um, everything seems real easy to put together here. But so far I'm pleased with the quality of this. Assembly was super easy as I didn't even look at the instructions. I mean just looking at it It's pretty obvious where everything should plug into The bag here seems to be very well made um, the bottom it does have a hard plastic uh, That should help prevent it from getting any tears or rips on the bottom but we'll see how many years this thing will last for now plugging in the battery is very simple all it does is slide right in and it clicks index finger here is used for the trigger the dial at the top is your suction speed here i'm guys just lifting it and it's super light uh, the bag does fill up with air when it's on all right guys, let's go outside and see how this uh, performs. Yeah. 
So right off the bat guys, what I noticed right away is the suction. Um, it's very strong. I mean, you can hear this thing sucking up all the uh, dirt. And I was a little worried that maybe I'm damaging it. But it seems to do what it's supposed to do. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on. Here's an issue I ran into guys, um, that back section there had wet leaves and basically what it is, it, it clogged the uh, everything inside. Here you see me kind of, just like when you mow underneath your deck, uh, if you don't clean out the underneath it kind of builds up. This is something similar to that, you can see how everything's kind of stuck inside because of the... Uh, the wetness of all the leaves as it gets mulched it just kind of sticks to the side housing here and here I am shaking it to get it loose so um, everything was running just fine until I hit that damp area so I noticed the the sound of the leaf mulcher changed and I immediately knew something was wrong so I decided to uh, stop and see what happened so easy to resolve here guys, all I had to do was just clean it out. So since I have everything off here guys, pretty much the way it works is the tube that's plugged into that hole up there basically sucks up all the leaves. Then those blades are pretty much spinning, takes the leaves in, mulches them up and spits them up through the bottom into the bag. So what I thought a better way of doing things was instead of using the mulcher in the flower beds, I decided to use a leaf blower and blow everything out of the beds into the lawn here. Then after all the flower beds were done, I would come back with my lawn sweeper, sweep everything up, then dump into one big pile, and then just use the mulcher to mulch everything up. This Ryobi leaf blower, you guys, is pretty powerful. I mean, if you use it at 300 CFM, you can get two hours of battery life. Or if you set it at the highest, 730 CFM, you can get 22 minutes out of it. Alright guys, now that everything's blown out into the lawn, um, here I have my son using the Husqvarna with the lawn sweeper attached to it. We're basically sweeping everything up and then dumping it into a pile here. Now not everybody needs to use a lawn sweeper, but in my case, because I do have a bigger yard, um, it just makes the job so much easier. 
Now the lawn sweepers do come in a variety of sizes from a 42 inch all the way to a 52 inch size. Really simple to unload, just pull on the rope and dump the leaves on the ground. Love using this Husqvarna lawn tractor. I've got several attachments I use. I have a dethatcher as well as an aerator. Alright guys, here we are using the leaf mulcher and here are some things I've noticed uh, because when I did sweep everything up it picked up a lot of the uh, branches from the shrubs that I cut earlier and it would clog the tube here um, so I tried separating some of the branches uh, from clogging the inside there but um, it's better to use if it's just leaves alone uh, we had no problems doing it that way now emptying the bag is pretty simple just unclip it from the mulcher and on the back side are these two zippers just pull down on the strap and you can just dump it right into your container here what I've noticed is if the bag gets really full uh, you gotta kind of force it out as it's pretty compacted inside which really isn't a big deal. Just a little bit more effort to get everything out. Now Ryobi does claim this will mulch 16 bags of leaves into one bag. So I'll have to wait till the fall time to see if that is true or not. All right guys, that's my review on the Ryobi leaf blower and leaf mulcher. Um, in my opinion, it really did help uh, make this job a little bit easier before I would have to use a rake and just kind of rake the leaves out of the flower beds but being able to use this leaf blower and just blowing everything out and then going back with the lawn sweeper sweeping it up dumping it and then using the leaf mulcher to mulch everything up does help speed up the process and less time working out in the yard so again guys, like I said before, I try to find any kind of tools or equipment that would make the job easier and this is definitely something that makes it easier. Alright fam, so I'll end the video here. If you have any questions or comment, go ahead and post them below. Uh, please stay tuned for any future content. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And hit those post notifications. That way every time I drop a new video, uh, you'll be notified. Alright everybody, thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.